Now, today I'll be making dinner rolls. You will need one and a half tablespoons of yeast, a quarter cup of sugar, quarter cup of butter, half a cup of water, one cup of milk, one egg, four cups of flour, one and a half teaspoons of salt. Add your milk to a jug. And your water, your butter, and your sugar. Now add your yeast. I'm using instant yeast. Mix and then wait five minutes. Once the yeast has risen, mix it. To your flour, add your salt and mix. I'm going to use the knife. Is it now it's mixed, you can add your egg to the, the milk mixture. Now you can add your flour to your big bowl. Now slowly add your, your milk mixture and mix. I'm using the same knife. Yeah, see it's a bit sticky so now we're going to need to add some more flour. <laughs> Guys, I'm showing you a way to knead. It's called the heart method. So you just go push up and then you go down and push up. And then just carry on for about 10 minutes. Or you can do a method like this, where you push and then you fold and then you push and then you fold, push, fold, push, fold, and you carry on. In a grease bowl, add your kneaded dough and then cover it with clay. Don't oil. Don't oil. Don't oil. For an hour. You can tap. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna. Okay, now we're going to divide the dough so the rolls will be uh, even. And then from this you can cut that it in half and then again and if you want you can even do it again but I'm just leaving it like this. Okay so you take one piece and then you can start kneading. Now you're going to knead the small pieces. Okay. 
Now you make it into like rolls by folding it in, the outside pieces in. And now like you can you can just do this with your fingers. If you want bigger rolls, you can uh you don't need to cut it uh, that uh, small. My dad's actually making a braai, so I'm making fresh rolls for uh, the braai. This is my last uh, bowl left, so preheat your oven. Rolls. You mustn't put them too close to each other, but it mustn't be too far. Like that's fine. So I've set them, and now I'm going to put clean so they can rest for thirty minutes to an hour. And we're also going to make corn. So this is the chicken sausages, this is the chops, and that's more chicken sausages. And we also got corn. It's going to go in there when this was done. So this is the chutney that we're making for the fry it grew so much how good does that look guys look how beautiful this looks look how brown it is it's so nice it's so shiny bye guys please like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel hope you enjoy your day bye now I'm enjoying my bride. This is really good, guys.